Hi everyone, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome back to Tactic Testing. Now the full game is out, which means it's no longer beta and hopefully uh, all the match engine, all the patches have been sorted and uh, we can start getting on with the real tests now that may or may not have changed. So do go back onto the old tests that I have done for 21 and uh, see if they still work. And if they do, let us know in the comments. So anyway, this tactic behind me is, if I'm saying it right, is it the Kalau 4231 Road the Glory? I don't know if that was meant to be Road to Glory, but uh, it's his tactic nonetheless. And he contacted me on FM Base and wanted me to uh, check it out. And this is the first one for the updated uh, match engine. So hopefully it goes well. It's a bit of a French special. Two teams in League 1. Two teams in League 2, and hopefully it will all go fantastic. Stay tuned for the player instructions and video. So, welcome back everybody, and here we are. The teams I'm taking charge of in League 1 is a bit of a top dog, alright? OM and a underdog breast. And then also in League 2, the same thing. A top dog and an underdog in Toulouse FC and Paris FC. Hopefully everything goes pretty great for them. So the player instructions for this tactic is advanced forward. Inverted winger left marks specific position, which is the defender right. Okay. Inverted winger right marks specific position. I'm guessing it is going to be the defender left. Yeah. Attack in midfield at centre, Mark Pacific's position again. <laughs> the defensive midfielder. Uh, deep line playmaker. Box to box midfielder. Wing back left. Wing back right. Ball playing defender left. Ball playing defender right. And the goalkeeper. The set piece instructions. Corners. Defending right and left. Attacking left and right. Free kick instructions. Defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And then finally the throwing instructions. Defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And once again, just in case you don't know why I go through all of the instructions. For those of you that can download the tactic. It's because not everyone can. Right now you've got the touch players, the tablet players, everything like that. Um, they can't download tactics. And they take obviously all of these instructions. Manually put them into the game so they can replicate what everyone else is enjoying. And it's also now applicable to probably... All the new Xbox players. So you can just uh, copy the uh, video, pause it, have a look, yeah, replicate it. So have a good save, basically. Uh, so that is the set piece instructions and player instructions. It is a micro press O fans tactical style. Yeah, obviously that's his uh, custom name. I'm guessing it's a pressing uh, tactical style with the pre word press in there. Attacking mentality in possession. You've got standard attacking width, passing to space. Overlapping left and right will play out defence. Slightly shorter passing directness with a slightly lower tempo. Uh, mixed crosses, work ball into box, dribble less and be more expressive. In transition, counter press and counter. And your goalkeeper's instructions are to distribute them to the fullbacks. Out of possession, we're looking at... Higher line of engagement with a higher defensive line. Force opposition outside, so once again, it's the narrow system. Use tighter marking with more urgent pressing intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And the get stuck in instruction is on. So chances are you might rack up a few uh, yellow cards, maybe red cards. All right, that's the uh, bad thing about that one. But it is effective as well. So yeah, right. So this is the team for OM, uh, the supposed best 11. It will change, obviously, because I don't lock in the teams. And then Brest as well. This is the first 11. Toulouse FC. And finally, Paris FC. So hopefully everyone has a fantastic season using the tactic. And I'll see you at the end of the season. Right, welcome back everyone. So let's start in League 1 with the top teams with OM and Brest. And as you can see, the tactic didn't quite work for Brest. Don't get me wrong, this is only one test, one run through. All right, there's loads of things that can change, and it might have just been a little bit unlucky on Brest's side of things. All right, you can, there's definitely possibilities that this can do better because it's a simulation. All right, if you're playing the game, you're making the alterations during the game, obviously it can have a positive impact, and you can have a better game, better save, better points, and a better position at the end of the season. But OM, OM are the ones that did absolutely fantastic. They are predicted fourth. Uh, they got 90 points, two points off first place. All right, PSG obviously won the league, uh, but we got more goal difference. So if we just had those two points, we would have won the league. 
OM would have won it, obviously on top of Monaco, OL and PSG, which is fantastic because they're predicted for, so it's come second is a big, massive plus. All right, Brest, the predicted 16th, they came 16th. All right, so they didn't actually get worse, which is a good thing. But in my mind, there's all the possibilities in the world that this tactic would have definitely done better on Brest if it was played um, all throughout the whole season. Uh, so let's have a look at some of the player stats then. Unfortunately, no Brest players got in the top threes, all about the OM. And then let's have a look then. So goals, all right, Benedetto came first, 38 goals, far surpassing Ganogo for RC Lens, 28. RC Lenz is another underdog, and their striker came second with 28. Mad. Uh, Payet, all right, 7.31, came third with average rating. Thuvin, uh, Sakai and Sanson, first, second, and joint second with assists. 12, 11, and 11. And then also we have, what's his name here? Mandanda, your goalkeeper. 17 clean sheets, which is also fantastic. you got a couple of brass players and OM players in yellow cards, but we don't count that, do we? No, we don't. All right, it's a bad, it's a bad player stat to have. Uh, so let's have a look at the competitions for Brest then first. So Brest is knocked out in the quarterfinals of the French Cup. So they got to the quarterfinals. That's actually pretty good going. Unfortunately, they went out three or oh, they went out on pen penalties. That's a shame. And we can actually also see here that OM also went out uh, two one in the uh, quarterfinals as well. So again, it's a shame for both teams. I, I was hoping OM would go on and win some silverware, but we'll see a little bit of that uh, later on. So yeah, competitions not too bad really. Getting pretty far in the French Cup. Uh, didn't really perform massively in the league. Uh, came sixteenth. They didn't, didn't get relegated, so that's the plus. The tactic didn't make it worse. Um, but like I've said, all right, I fully believe that it would have done better uh, had it have been a full run through play. Uh, so let's have a look at your squad then. Your best players for Brest are overall. There we go. So yeah, you can see here, it just didn't get on really well for the team. All right, you only got two players who got an average rating above seven. In the greens, all right, you got Brassier and Harrell, um, 7.08 and 7.04. Your best scorers or top scorers are Cardano and what's that? Chabonet, Chabonet, 22 and 14. And then assists, um, Favre and Gabriel 10 and 7. So yeah, the numbers are a little bit low all round. Uh, Cardano actually did very well though. 22 is not bad for an underdog team uh, to get that many goals. So well done to him. Obviously, he would have been in the top five. Um, so you can't really moan at that. Uh, let's have a look at the team report. So overall, you can see here that w they weren't too bad in every department apart from conceding. Obviously, we were worse. We were conceded more than average uh, throughout the whole season when it comes to goals against us. Uh, but everything else is pretty average compared to everyone else in the uh, in the league. So that's that that is telling me just a few little sort outs maybe in the game by a human handler can can maybe sort that out. Uh, let's have a look at the scoring then. So you are in the aggressive and wasteful, just or are right, just in that part, um, which is actually not too bad for Brest. It would have been nice to be in the clinical side. All right, as you can see, OM right up in this corner, which is fantastic for them. So, yeah, it's a shame. You're getting the shots on, but you're just not scoring. Is that down to quality, maybe, or down to the tactic? We're not too sure. Uh, shots, that are goals that we've scored, 57 play shots, 10 powerful shots, 2 curled shots, 1 lob, 11 headers, uh, 3 free kicks and 2 penalties. And the assists in the last 49 matches, uh, 12 came from set pieces and the rest of them were all from open play. And conceding defensive efficiency, we are busy and leaky, which is not where you want to be. All right, it means we're having a lot of shots against us and a lot of goals. Uh, and that obviously is the indication in the first uh, pie chart or graph that we showed you. Because uh, it's saying that we're conceding more than average. And if you're in this section, then yeah, it's understandable. Uh, let's have a look at the goals scored against us. And 65 play shots, 14 powerful shots, 4 lobs, 10 headers and 5 penalties. Uh, once again, just read this left-hand side if you're interested in a little bit more of the analyst report. So next team up is OM in League One. They did fantastic. Second place is nothing to moan about when you're going up against the likes of OL, Monaco, uh, Monaco and PSG. And only two points behind PSG and you've got a bigger goal difference than them as well. Bob on. Bob on. <laughs> Let's have a look at your competition. So European Champions Cup quarterfinal PSG did you again. They beat you in the quarterfinal of the uh, Champions Cup. But to get that far, that's not bad for OM. All right. And yeah, it was convincing. It was a 5-0 over both legs thrashing by PSG. 
Uh, not much you can do about that, I'm afraid. All right, they've got world class players on the world stage. Uh, some of the best players in the world do play for PSG, so it's a shame. Um, French Cup quarter final got knocked out by Lille, unfortunately again. Uh, but a decent, a decent running to get to the quarter final. Maybe would have been more acceptable to get to the semis, um, but two one, so it's not too bad. And then Trophy Test Champions, you actually won some silverware. Nice in the final, you beat PSG two all, and then on penalties. Uh, so fantastic result. There's nothing you can moan about there. You finish second to PSG, all right, which is it's very hard to beat PSG. All right, it's always going to be hard to beat PSG, regardless of what tactic you got, because of who they are. Who they are in that league is just so so strong, so overpowering. Uh, and to finish two points behind them is fantastic. And then also to beat them in the cup final and nick a little bit of silverware from them is a is a big plus. So let's have a look at your squad then. So yeah, you can see this tactic was incredible incredible for om all right you've got loads of players above seven rating greens everywhere everyone did fantastic uh, your best player we're not going to count pele because he only played one game is payette all right 25 goals nine assists absolutely fantastic then benedetto 49 and 7 your biggest goal scorer is benedetto with 49 all right they're the kind of numbers that you see with the big team so it's fantastic that the score in that many goals uh payette and thuvin 25 and 13 sanson rod is that Rodonjic or Rodonjic? Anyway, uh, yeah, 10 goals. So you got five players scoring 10 or more goals, which are fantastic numbers. Awesome. Uh, assists, all right. Thuvin, Sanson, Sakai, uh, Rongia, and Amavi. Uh, again, all of them getting 10 assists or more. So the numbers are looking fantastic with OM at the minute. Let's have a look at the team report. Uh, so analyst report on an average, yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what you want to look at, isn't it? You're conceding less than average, you're scoring more, you're shooting more. XGs are fantastic compared to everyone else. Your passing percentage as well is also better than average. So that's, that's exactly the kind of chart, uh, general performance that you want in a tactic test. So that's fantastic. Scoring then. So if attacking efficiency, we've already seen we are in this top right corner, which means we are getting a lot of shots and a lot of goals. Layman's terms, a lot of shots, a lot of goals. That's all you want to know. <laughs> uh, goals scored then 61 play shots, 50 powerful shots, one kill shot, one lob, 10 headers, one free kick, and four penalties. In the assists, in the last 50 matches, eight came from set pieces, and the rest of them were all from open play. And then conceding, I'm hoping we are. Yes, we are in the quiet and impenetrable again. We're not getting a lot of shots against us, and we're not getting a lot of goals against us. Simple, simple as that. Bottom left corner, nice. Um, goal scored against us then, 31 play shots, 10 powerful shots, 1 lob, 4 headers, 1 free kick, 3 penalties, that's it, nice one, and again, read the analyst report on this left hand side for a little bit more information, so now the two teams in League 2, did they get promoted, we shall see, yeah they did, nice as well, pa Paris FC, they're the underdogs, Paris FC are the underdogs, I think they predicted 13, so they're mid to low team, um, and they came first. They actually beat Toulouse. Toulouse are the top dogs. They are predicted second. They're predicted to get promoted, which they did. But Paris FC are the ones that beat them to the champion's spot, which is, yeah, it's fantastic. That's exactly what you want. And the fact that this tactics work so well in the lower leagues, does that mean it will work well in the like, League 2, in the Vanarama, in the Spanish second division, everything like that? Give it a try, guys. Let us know in the comments. Hopefully it works for you and hopefully you have a fantastic save and a great save to start the uh, new match engine, new patches with. All right, full game release now, everyone. Get on it. Okay, so let's have a look at Toulouse and all the players. So we've got a couple of players from Paris FC and Toulouse in the top three ratings. Paris FC, 29. Laura, okay, came first with the goals. And then we've got Kate Gabriel and what's his name here? Van der Boomen. Van der Boomen? Van der Boomen. Van den Boomen. Uh, both for Toulouse FC, um, first and second and average rate in 7.42 and 3.6. Assists, was, is that Balord? Balord or Balor? Uh, for Paris FC, 14 assists for him. And then we also got Dupe uh, for Toulouse FC, the goalkeeper. came uh, Got 15 clean sheets and came third. So, yeah, pretty good numbers all around. It's a shame we didn't really get anyone in the player of the matches, really, considering where they finished, all right? Both, both teams, first and second. So... Yeah, okay. So let's have a look at the Toulouse FC and their competitions. So French Cup, they got to the 10th round. Unfortunately, went out to St. Etienne, all right? St. Etienne are a better team than them at the end of the day, so it's expected. Um, so yeah, no silverware, but they got promoted. That's, that's what it's all about. 
Let's have a look at your squad then. So, again, quite a few players getting above the 7 rating. Uh, your best player was Gabrielson. Ooh, Gabrielson, 7 and 1. So that means, obviously, that Gabriel that I saw was not Gabriel, was it? Not Gabriel, it's Gabrielson. Ah, see? I don't really know a lot about uh, Toulouse FC, so... Uh, yes, anyway, and then we've got Vanden Boomen, uh, 7.4. Your biggest goal scorers, you've got Zach Cloris, 19 and 2. Uh, then you've got, yeah, there's quite a lot of names here that I'm, I'm not really uh, not really familiar with. Uh, Deja De Gear, 11 and 5. And then Bio, uh, 10 and 3. Your biggest creators in the team was Vanden Boomen, 9. Uh, Mabele, 9. Amian. Eight, and then is that Syed or said six there? So yeah, the numbers aren't massively massive compared to OM, but it's not going to be. Not going to be. You're in League Two, all right. You you came second. That's a fantastic result. Just tech it. Just tech it. You've been promoted, lad. Uh, team report. Then let's have a look. So on an average, you're doing better than the majority of the league, conceding less, you're scoring more, shots more. Again, it's what you want. It's not on a big as big level as OM, but again, you're not really going to be expecting that. Scoring then, so in the attacking efficiency, yeah, you'll be nearly, nearly edging in toward, towards the aggressive and wasteful, which is what you don't want, obviously, you want to be scoring your goals, it's alright having all the shots in the world, but you know how annoying it is when you have 20, 30 shots on goal and only two of them go in, you think, hang on a minute, up here, alright, so you don't want that, got that a lot in the last game, not a fan of it. Uh, so it's nice being the aggressive in clinical. Okay, the goals that we've scored: 44 play shots, 20 powerful shots, 16 headers, two free kicks, and five penalties. And the assists in the last 46 matches: uh, 13 came from set pieces, and the rest of them were all from open play. The conceding defensive efficiency: we are in the quiet and leaky. So yeah, it's not actually great being there for a team like Toulouse. All right, you're a second rate, you're a second position rated team. Uh, the media have predicted you pretty high and to get promoted, which you did, which is good. Um, but you, you're conceding goals. You're not, you're not getting a lot of shots, but you're conceding too many compared to the shots we're getting. Uh, the goals that were scored against us, 31 play shots, 9 powerful shots, 2 lobs, 6 headers and 3 free kicks. See there, it doesn't actually look like a lot, in my opinion. So even though it's saying that we're uh, leaky, um, overall... On the general performance, it's not too bad. All right, we're we're better than average, which is which is what you want at the end of the day. Uh, so yeah, that is Toulouse FC. Now let's have a look at the champions of League Two who are now promoted and going into League One. And uh, yeah, basically the other team from Paris. All right, you got PSG now. You got Paris FC. Let's have a look at them. So they came first. They were champions. That is out of this world, considering they are a team that are, if I'm right, predicted 13th. Yeah. So they predicted 13. They weren't even meant to get anywhere near where they got, which is, you can't moan. You can't moan. Let's have a look at the competitions then. So ninth round, oh, they went up against PSG. Yeah, all right. You're all right there. Don't worry about it. Just have fun. Just have fun and get your, get your T-shirt signed by the big dogs after the match, basically. That's, that's, all, they, that's all they got told. They weren't going to beat PSG. It would have been nice if, if they did and got a little bit further just for the video's sake and the testing's sake, but let's be real. All right, PSG versus Paris FC. You know, you know who the money's going on. Uh, let's have a look at your squad then. So again, yeah, you got quite a few players getting above seven on the ratings. All right, your best player. Uh, we're not going to count him. He had one game. So Hannon. All right, thirty-one apps, three goals, and seven assists. And then Kante after him, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Your biggest goal scorers. You got Laura, thirty-one, and Gapta, Gap, Gakpa. Some of these names, uh, 13 and 5, and then you've got Florian Martin, all right, came on 22 times, 15 substitutions, 8 and 10, your biggest creators uh, was Balud, Hannon and Martin, 14, 11 and 10, so not a lot of massive numbers considering you're the champions, but you did what you had to do, you got the results, and you came first, regardless of how many goals, you can have a striker that got one goal, but at the end of the day, if you've come first in the league, are you really bothered? Hmm? I know, obviously, you probably would do. You think, hang on a minute, my striker's got one goal, something or something. But, yeah, he came first at the end of the day. It's, it's a tactic test, everyone. It's a tactic test. Team report. Let's have a look. Analyst report on a whole. 
not too bad. Conceding per game, you are bang on average. All right, obviously on the higher end, so you're doing well compared to the league. You're not right in this side considering you're an underdog. But goals and shots, XG, all doing better than everyone else. All right, scoring, attacking efficiency, aggressive and clinical. You're up here, and for an underdog to be up in this corner, pretty much far away from everyone else, is is perfect. It's where you want to be. Uh, goal scored then 60 play shots 12 powerful shots one kill shot 18 head 18 headers one free kick and four penalties assists in the last 47 matches 10 came from set pieces the rest of them were all from open play and conceding then where are we we're in the quiet and leaking we're right in this corner all right so yeah again is it expected for a team like paris fc to get that quiet and leaky Right, I know they were champions. In all theory, they should be quite an impenetrable, not getting a lot of goals. But they are. Defensively, they're doing well. They're not getting a lot of shots on. But obviously, when they do creep through, um, they're scoring. So, but not a lot. We are average compared to the league. Uh, goals then. So 31 play shots, 14 powerful shots, 1 lob, 9 headers, 2 free kicks, and 3 penalties were scored against us. So, everyone, that is the tactic. I think that went pretty well. All right, apart from Brest, it's a shame. I think any other test, any other day, might have done a little bit better. But we all know my test, one go, one chance. All right, a bit relentless. Um, so, yeah, I think it went great. I think you should uh, download it, have a little go with it, have a little tweak if you have to, and hopefully it will improve your game, improve your save, and improve your team. And, uh, yeah, have fun, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, so please subscribe and like and comment if you did. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.